North Korea continues to do what it does best. Needless provocation of the West and shameless backpatting about how strong its military is, despite its country going through a terrible humanitarian crisis. Stay classy, North Korea. In most countries that have nuclear bombs, the scientists who develop them are kept well away from the public eye. North Korea isn't most countries. Nope, the engineers and workers behind the secretive state's recent nuclear tests have been taken on a hero's tour of Pyongyang, with seemingly most of the city out to salute them. We have no evidence to suggest that they were there willingly. According to the channel that filmed it, they will spend significant days of the Pyongyang visit enjoying the greatest privileges and preferential treatment. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea has been celebrating ever since the successful tests on February the 12th. The visit comes just after this film, which showed US President Barack Obama and US troops on fire. The original uploads of that video have been removed from YouTube because they contain footage from ZeniMax Media. That's the umbrella company who owns the game's designers behind Doom, Quake, Rage and Resident Evil. And the day after the tests came this video, which showed a US city under attack from a North Korean missile strike. But back in the capital, the nuclear workers are being taken to some of the country's greatest sites, including the birthplace of the founder of the country, Kim Il-sung, grandfather of the current leader, Kim Jong-un. And they will enjoy every single minute. So we've decided we are soon going to do an extensive piece on YouTube's now pretty famous YouTube channel dedicated to propaganda provoking the West and also propaganda making everybody in North Korea feel warm and fuzzy. <laughs> It's not even good propaganda, <laughs> that's the stupid thing. Everyone, apart from people in North Korea, look at it and go, oh yeah, it's propaganda. North Korea evidently poses a pretty serious and credible threat to South Korea. It's a problem. We should try and do something about it, perhaps. What might we do? Well, we can't, we can't do what we usually do, which is just go and bomb it. No. Because they have all of their weapons and you can't essentially make... pointed at South Korea. And you can't kind of fuel a revolution from inside the country because there's absolute and utter control of every method of communication. I guess maybe you could forcibly sterilise everybody in Kim Jong-un's family. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> it's so extreme, let... <laughs> but it might work. Let us know how you think the problem of North Korea can be effectively solved without, one would hope, nuclear bombs going off. Leave your thoughts in a comment and we will see you again next time. And do hang around and subscribe so you can see this video we put together about North Korea's weird but interesting YouTube channel.